in the land of 10,000 lakes. Water is everywhere, in our parks and in our homes. But have you ever turned on the faucet and wondered about the process that takes place to get your water there? Well, that's why I'm here, to show you how it all works. Come on! We are at the City of Bloomington's water treatment facility. We lime soften the water before it gets to residents' homes. Lime softening, a process that takes the minerals out of the raw, untreated well water that would otherwise stain and spot your sink or make it funny colors. And that process takes five steps. First off, the lime slurry is created. The lime is mined out east and transported from Duluth. That's some well-traveled lime. That's right, Willie the Water Drop. And it will be used to help remove those unwanted minerals from the water. Next, it's off to this big basin where that lime slurry is added to the raw well water. The following chemical reaction and the mixing creates bigger particles that settle to the bottom of the basin. These particles are a side effect of the softening process we call sludge. The sludge is then hauled to ponds where it is left to dry for about a year. After that, the nutrient-rich sludge is taken to farms where it aids in maintaining the acidity level of the soil and helps plants grow. Wow, that's pretty cool! But the treatment process is only getting started. Follow me! Third step, water flows into the recarbonation basin where pH levels are lowered to a level that creates a protective coating inside the pipes. It's called scale and it prevents corrosion, which would eat away at the pipes. After that, chlorine is added to disinfect and make the water safe. That happens right before the fourth step, when the water heads to the filter. This big pool is the filter, but this model over here shows the layers of coal, garnet, and sand you can't see. When the water flows through these layers, unwanted particles are filtered out and it ends up clean and ready to drink. So that's how the water ends up so tasty here in Bloomington. Hold on there, Willie the Water Drop. Before water reaches its final destination, fluoride is added to help maintain healthy teeth. I guess that's where I get these pearly whites. Then finally, that clean treated water ends up in the clear well, where it is distributed to your home. The residents do not have to have a water softener in their house. Now, if we didn't have this treatment facility, everybody would have to have a softener. They'd have to carry you know, salt into their house. It'd be just one more added expense that they would have to pay for and maintain soft water that also tastes good. Bloomington Water was awarded the best in glass, aka first place, during an American Water Works Association conference. I always knew there was something pretty special about me. I think it's our operators that are on staff paying attention to, you know, trying to make things better and more consistent. And the better we do our job, the better the water is. So there you have it folks, that's how water goes from the ground, through the plant, to your house. A treatment process that works, a city service we enjoy every day. Does this mean I'm ready to drink now? Uh, oh, I didn't really think this through. 